Artificial intelligence, or AI, is showing up more and more online. You may have already used an AI chatbot like ChatGPT or Copilot to write something, or played with AI-powered apps to create images, videos, or music. While AI can be useful and fun, it's also making it harder to determine what's real and what's not online. Let's look at two of the biggest concerns around AI and what we can do about them. Hallucinations. AI chatbots like ChatGPT can answer questions in a matter of seconds, and while they'll often give you accurate information, they can also make mistakes. That's because chatbots don't know what they're saying. Instead, a chatbot generates text by predicting which words are likely to follow one another, based on patterns in the data it was trained on. That means they can sometimes produce information that's false, misleading, or completely made up. These kinds of mistakes are called hallucinations. Hallucinations can happen for a few reasons. Poor quality data that's used to train the AI, flaws in how it was programmed, or because there's always some randomness in how a chatbot generates its responses. When Google first added AI-generated overviews to its search results, they were full of hallucinations. Once, it told people to glue their cheese to their pizza, while at another time, it said that eating rocks is part of a healthy diet. These mistakes happen because AI doesn't always use trustworthy sources and will often tell you what it thinks you want to hear rather than what's true. For example, someone asked Google if cats had ever been on the moon. Instead of finding a reliable source, Google's AI made up an answer. Not only were there cats on the moon, but astronauts had even played with them up there. Some hallucinations are easy to spot, while others are less obvious. Since AI-generated text sounds so convincing, it can be difficult to tell if the information you're reading is true or made up. Deep fakes. Many people use AI tools to create fun and creative images, videos, and music, but some people use them to impersonate others, usually celebrities or politicians, which can be misleading or even harmful. These are called deepfakes, AI-generated versions of people that are designed to trick you into thinking they're real. In one case, an interview with an AI-generated Tom Cruise went viral because it was so convincing. People have also used AI to create fake songs by artists like Taylor Swift, Drake, and The Weeknd, and some have been streamed millions of times by unsuspecting listeners who thought they were real. Deepfakes can be used for entertainment, but they can also be dangerous. They have been used in scams, like when an employee was tricked into transferring $25 million to an AI-generated version of their boss. Some deepfakes even show politicians saying things they never actually said in an attempt to make them look bad. So what can we do about these problems? If you're using a chatbot like ChatGPT, always make sure to fact check what it tells you. Start with a quick Google search and review what trustworthy sources say about the topic. You can also check Wikipedia for an overview and make sure that your chatbot isn't making any big mistakes or leaving out important information. And if you come across any suspicious videos or images, don't assume you can tell they're real just by looking at them. While some AI-generated content looks strange, a lot of the time it seems totally normal, even if it's fake. So don't just trust your gut. Do a quick search to see what journalists, experts, and other reliable sources are saying to make sure what you're seeing and sharing is actually real.